And while everyone loves bread, butter was also a unique thing to have in the 18th century. Let's learn a little bit more about it. will be explaining to you all and fun butter making facts. Butter was brought over in 1607 by the Jamestown colonists. The reason why it was brought over and made here in 1607 is because they brought over dairy cows. Now you can look see what I have on the table. Fun artifacts. This isn't a colonial time period but also a cool contraption for making butter. I have some things in front of me. You had to skim the butter. We're gonna get into that on how they actually got it from a cow into the actual butter making. They use tools like these. This is an actual representation of how butter was formed. These are butter molds. Some fancy families love these molds and they would put the butter in there and then when it was time to have a wonderful dinner or a feast, they would take these out. And we will get into these a little bit later. Let's learn some fun facts, shall we? What country produces the most butter? You would think that it would be America, but it's not. India is the number one country that produces the most butter in 2020. They churned almost a million metric tons. That's a lot of butter. What is the most expensive butter? Does anyone know what it's called? Have you heard of it, Trusty? I don't believe I have. It is called Eckridge. It is made in France by the Queen of Eckridge. It is homemade in a small pot in the Western France where the world's most exclusive and expensive butter is made. Another fun fact, I have my daughter here with me today. Most people, when they were in the kitchen making butter, they had their children with them. Why? Because children were butter churners. Kids, that's what kiddos did. They churned butter. We didn't. We made sure everything else in the kitchen was okay. Do we know who actually brought the butter to America? Well, it was told that pil pilgrims did. Across the Atlantic, butter consumption started with the pilgrims, who packed several barrels to their journey on the Mayflower. During the next three centuries, butter became the staple from the American farm. It was easy, it was good to make, and it was a wonderful staple for tables with butter. In the 19th century, butter became popular, very, very popular, by a French chem chemist. He was in demand, by the demand, I'm sorry, he was upheld by Napoleon and created the butter like spreader. It was made of rendering beef fat and milk from flavor. It was the first prototype of margarine. Mm. Thanks to pilgrims, butter got to America. Did you know that before actual churner, they would place milk in pouches on horses? The horses would gallop around and that would aerate the milk and separate it. Do you know how long it took for milk to go from start to finish? Hours! It took kids hours until overnight. In the 1700s, the most popular method of making butter was to keep milk in an earthware container until the cream separated and floated to the top. When the cream was set, it was scooped off the plate or timber disc and splash the churn was used to convert it to butter. And that's where these came in. I have an example here. So after we milked the cow, we would put the milk in and overnight the butter fat would separate and then that's the making of how we did our butter. These wonderful tools right here was how we skim the milk off, skim the fat off. I have another little fun fact. And as we learn this fun fact, we're going to sing together and do the churn. There was a butter churning song. I happen to know it. 
It was a delightful little dirt ditty. It was called the Essex Charm for churning. And it was only sung in like the 1650s. They carried that on until now. Grandmas, probably in the South, still know this song. The reason why the song was so nice, because it was a chant. It helped everyone start to get that agitation going with the butter. Peter at the gate, waiting for the butter cake. Come on, butter cake, come on, butter cake. Peter at the gate, come on, butter cake, come on, butter cake. Peter at the gate. Come on, Chanel. This would be her job. So let her agitate the butter in the mixer while I sing the song. Peter at the gate, Peter at the gate. Come on, come on, make the butter cake. Come on, Sally, come on, John. We'll make enough butter for you all to have some. Come on, Peter, Peter at the gate. Peter at the gate, Peter at the gate. Making butter cake. Peter at the cake, waiting for butter cake. Come on, butter, come on, butter. All the grandchildren, one for all. Holler, holler, the butter turn call. Did you guys like my little ditty? And that's how we churn and made butter. Now, in the actual 1700s, butter making technique was a low tech and it took a lot of time. And what I mean by this is doing this motion it took many, many hours, and that's why they had children come in and do it, sing the song. First, the cow was milked, and after it was milked, it rested. In a, the milk was rested in a cool, dry place. After a day or so, it was skimmed off the top, and it went to its second step. A dasher was then uh, brought in. It was just a fancy name as, of this stick. It's called a dasher, and these are the pieces. And it was put in, and... At the time went on, others say it was invented. So we can do things like this. And I'm going to show you a technique that you can do at home and make butter. I did it prior to this video. She made the best butter. I added a little bit of salt too. And I will show you, once we get the butter, it is delicious. And you can share for your dinner tonight. Step one, all you need is the heavy whipping cream. This is our today's method. When I took my heavy whipping cream, I took a baby bottle and I just filled up a little bit of cream inside. When I filled up this cream, I just took my time and I went. Beat her at the gate, agitate my milk. Gonna make butter, butter, butter. Same song, make up your own song. Have fun with it. And we did this for maybe 15, 20 minutes. After about the 15, 20 minute period, it started to change from whipped cream and then it started to, to, to milk out again. Now that liquid inside, that is buttermilk. You don't have to throw this away. This is delish. You can make it with biscuits, set it to the side, pancakes, Sunday morning, Easter's coming. Do something nice with the buttermilk. Then inside is that piece of butter. Here's one already made, and this is the butter I actually made myself, and I added salt. See, the rest is the milk in the bottom. Now, if you still have it wet and you do not rinse it off, you can't save it. But if you rinse it off, you can save it for a little time. This is what separated from the milk, and as you can see, this would be the buttermilk. And then you can ask your parents how to make it more uh, of an efficient buttermilk for cooking. Now, once you get it all shaken, you shake, you shake. The hard part is over. You take it out, you gently rinse it, and then you eat it. Now, there's a couple of other optional things that I told you that we were going to discuss. Once you get that butter and you want it to look really, really pretty, well, first, in the colonial time, they would get the milk and house milk into jugs like this. I mean, who would have thought we never had gallons? They would go and put it in there. Not colonial day period, but still super duper cool. 
this was the way they cut that butter and they made it into the traditional squares like we see it today. I love, love, love this one. This was for butter making. You can take this, take it, grill it, and make the butter. So cool and ever so beautiful. And these are all the butter making molds. Look at that, that probably was used for fall time. See the leaves when they had their original Thanksgivings. So there is my butter making experience. I hope you very much enjoyed our time here. We may have a few moments left to just tell you exactly what you need and what I used. A little baby jar, some heavy whipping cream, and you shake, shake, shake. You can add salt to the end, but I think that's about all the suppliers you need. And I think I forgot one big thing. Fun, have fun, enjoy. Have a wonderful Colonial Day. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you. Bye. It's your turn. Much like bread, making butter is a messy job. As such, if you're in the classroom, take an opportunity to discuss the different ways in which you use butter in your daily lives. If you're at home, with parental guidance, try making butter. And if you are in the classroom, wait until you get home to make butter with your family. Who knows, maybe you will have your creation tonight for dinner. After completing this activity, proceed forward in the film.